Hello everyone, and welcome to our third Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to be going over the top five planets to visit in Kerbal Space Program. Not really planets, but more like bodies to go to. So anyways, let's get started. So the first planet um, on this list is going to be Duna. Duna is the planet I've been to the most, and it's super fun to go to. It has an atmosphere, which allows you to use parachutes instead of having to land propulsively, but it's not super thick, so you don't need, uh, most of the time you won't need a heat shield, and if you do, you won't need one too big. Also, it has a lot of terrain, different types of terrain, like little mountains and ridges and valleys, which lets you explore with rovers or just go around with your Kerbal. And it, it's super fun to go to. It's also pretty close to Kerbin, which means that you can get there pretty easily. Along with that, it has two poles, the North and the South Pole, and those places are super fun to explore. All right, so number two on this list is going to be Lathe. As you can see um, in this clip, I was flying a jet plane around, and that is because Lathe has an atmosphere that allows you to use jet engines. This planet is literally the closest thing in the whole Kerbal solar system to um, Kerbin. It's the closest thing to Kerbin. It has water, it has air, it has land, and it has almost the same gravity as Kerbin. The only difference is it's much farther away from the sun uh, or Kerbal. So, um, it, it can be a bit hard to get there, but once you get there, it's definitely worth it. There's a lot of accom accomplishments um, you can um, achieve. You can fly planes around there, you can um, drive around boats or rovers, you can do pretty much anything. And there's a sense of accomplishment that you get once you get there and you get a plane on there. Super fun to go to. It's one of my favorite planets to go to. Super fun. But it also gives, uh, there is a slight risk. Um, or a slight challenge going there because of course it's a moon around Jewel. So yeah, but it doesn't have a super thick atmosphere which makes re-entry a bit harder than Duna but not as hard as let's say Eve. So it's pretty fun to go to. You don't blow up your ship 30 times while trying to re-enter. Alright, so number three on our list is going to be Elu. And the reason I chose Elu was just because most of the time it's the farthest planet away from Kerbin, and um, otherwise, at the when it's not the farthest away, Jewel is because their um, orbits intersect. But anyway, it's super fun to go to. It's the farthest planet. Doesn't have an atmosphere, so you're going to have to land propulsively. So it's really fun to go to. Um, it has different types of terrain, so you can go with rovers, and you get this huge sense of accomplishment when you get there because you went to the farthest planet in the solar system, pretty much. There's a lot of challenges because, of course, it's the farthest um, planet in the solar system, the Kerbin solar system. So, you, so it's so far that you're going to have to use RTGs. Solar panels barely work there, and you're going to need a lot of delta V and um, fuel to get there. All right, next on our list is Moho. So, um, the reason I chose Moho, you might disagree with me, is just because it has so many places to visit. There's a lot of craters there. Um, there's um, a lot of um, Easter eggs such as a mo hole and some arches there. So um, yeah, you can go visit those and it's super fun to go visit them and check them out. So if you search it up, you can kind of find out where these Easter eggs are and you can go land there. It's super fun, especially the mo hole. It's super hard to go to the very bottom. Um, you have to be super good at the game, but if you want to just go explore, then yeah, it's super fun to visit. Along with that, um, it it's close to Kerbin, pretty close to Kerbin, so it's fairly easy to get to, and you don't need you can use solar panels, and you don't need parachutes, so you're going to have to land propulsively. But other than that, it's super fun to get to. Um, not really hard. Um, you can go there and back pretty easily, unlike Elu. But yeah. Alright, the final planet or uh, body, I should say, is Minmus. And some of you might be thinking, Minmus isn't even a challenge, it's easy, it's the first thing I went to. But hear me out. The reason I chose Minus Minmus is because one, it's close to Kerbin, two, it's low gravity, 
and three, because it doesn't have an atmosphere. And you might be thinking, wow, that it shouldn't be on this list. All those three things make it super easy. But here's the thing. Because of those three criteria, you're able to build crazy big stuff on Ely. You can launch giant space hotels. You can launch giant cars there. Um, you can build bases there. Super, um, it's super fun to do that. I wouldn't say easy, but it's the best place to get started on doing that. You can start with Minmus, then go to the Mun, and then maybe build a base on uh, Ike, then Duna, and so on and so forth. So Minmus is just a good starting place, but since it's close by, you can test your limits and launch absolute monsters there. And yeah, it's super fun. And even though it's not a challenge, it's fun to visit because of low gravity, it just makes things super easy. You don't need that much fuel, and you can get back to Kerbin pretty easily. So that pretty much uh, concludes this video. Tell me down in the comments if you um, have any other suggestions, if you disagree with my list, if you'd add or um, delete any planets from my list. Also tell me what you think about these videos and if you have any video ideas for me in the future. Also make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and um, hit that notification ringer. That way you know when our next videos come out. Um, make sure to subscribe because once we get a subscriber goal of 100, we will be um, we will be releasing a series on how to launch a weather balloon to very high altitudes. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, the link in the description is just a link to our Patreon. It's a very good way to uh, support us because, of course, we're a club. So that's how we get our money. So we recently just changed the. Uh, the benefits from there we made them a bit better so make sure you go check that out link is in the description um, now you're going to see the videos based on YouTube's algorithm on what the best video for you to watch is